Hey, what's up everybody? It's Christian with Reaper Disc, and today we're going to be taking a look at probably my favorite new mid-range, the Innova J. The J is one of Innova's newest mid-ranges out in their lineup, and it is being said to be a slightly more overstable version of the Mako 3. The J is a micro-bead mid-range, which means it doesn't have a big obnoxious bead like that of the Rock, Rock 3, and Gator, but instead has just a very tiny, nearly not noticeable bead on the bottom of the rim. The J releases from the hand very clean when thrown, either with power grip or with fan grip. I didn't find an issue throwing it either way. And this is the disc that I've been testing out and throwing actually for a little while since it got released. And every time I throw it, I'm getting more and more impressed. This has to be probably one of the best shot shaping discs that I have ever thrown and was immediately put straight into my bag. So when I got out the J to start testing it, I tested it out in two different weights. The blue one that you'll see me throwing right here is a 168 gram, uh, just it's pretty well thrower weight, uh, maybe a little lighter, and the yellow protostar is a max weight 180 grams. I did notice just a little bit of difference in the flights, but for the most part, they did pretty well the same thing. When thrown on a hyzer, both discs, uh, they maintain the hyzer angle for the entirety of the flight. I could tell when I threw the slightly uh, lighter weight J that it almost wanted to flip up, but never quite did. Instead, that little bit of lighter weight just kind of let it glide further forward throughout the entirety of the flight, while the max weight J stayed absolutely on the exact same angle that I put it on and never wavered off of it at all. They both had that really nice arc of a hyzer line and faded uniformly back to the left every time. When thrown flat, both of these discs got a little bit of left to right movement. Uh, neither one of them ever really turned over onto an Anheuser angle. They both faded at the end, but the Max Weight J actually continued to push forward just a little bit further than the lightweight one did, which kind of surprised me. I figured the lighter weight one would travel just a little bit further, but the max weight one seemed to have just a little more push at the end of the flight, which is something that is probably good to note. When thrown on an Anheuser, both of the discs didn't really have a problem holding the Anheuser for a majority of the flight. The lightweight one did maintain that a lot more, uh, and it eventually got to the point where it kind of stalled out in the flight and just fell back down. Whereas the max weight J actually fought out of the Anheuser by the end of the flight and was getting back to flat and even trying to fade a little bit. By no means are these discs truly overstable, but they can handle a good amount of torque and being thrown fairly hard. Speaking of being thrown hard, whenever I threw these with full power shots, I was really, really surprised. The lightweight one got a lot of flip and actually carried a long ways from left to right before finally getting back to flat and it absolutely astounded me how far this went. I actually got that shot up in over 400 feet which really really surprised me how far these discs really will carry. The max weight J, uh, it did flip up but instead of getting all the way over to Anheuser, it carried straight for a majority of the flight before fading back at the end. All in all, I would recommend the J to just about any player that I could come across. I, you know, no matter your skill level, you can find a use for this disc in your bag. I know I definitely have. Uh, and like I had already said, this is probably one of the best shot shaping discs that I think I've ever thrown in my entire career so far. Uh, I absolutely love the J. It went straight into my bag and I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon. So if you want to find a J for yourself, head over to reaperdisc.com to check one out there or any number of other discs or awesome apparel. And again, I'm Christian with Reaper Discs, and I'll see you guys in the next video.